We have one final bonus Drinks with Daniels report for you tonight. Chris profiled all 14 candidates running for Seattle City Council, and tonight he talks one on one with Seattle Metropolitan Chamber of Commerce President Marilyn Strickland for opinions about the election, the city, and the future. What brought you to Rachel's Ginger Beer? What brought me to Rachel's Ginger Beer is the fact that she is one of our chamber members and a member of the executive committee. She is a local small business owner and just a great product and we wanted to be here in the heart of Seattle at the Pipe Place Market. For the record, these are hot toddies without whiskey. Yes, they are and they are quite tasty. What type of city do you think Seattle is right now? I would say that Seattle is one of those cities that is having growing pains because we have a lot of companies that have a global presence. A lot of jobs have been created, but at the same time, there's an unprecedented level of growth that we really weren't prepared for, whether it's housing affordability, mass transit, all the things that come with the growing region. From where you sit, who, who does that fall on? Though? I mean, it requires visionary leadership. And remember, there was a time 30 years ago when there were attempts to try to get measures passed for mass transit. Amazon, though, has grown, especially in the last 10 years. Yes, they have. Do you think Amazon has done enough to help with that growth management? The 21st century, companies do have responsibility to the communities in which they serve. And one thing that we've done, Chris, is you know we've said to our members, whether they're small companies or large companies, is that we know we have responsibility to this community. The question becomes, you know, how does that manifest itself? Amazon has injected itself into this election. Yeah, I mean, Amazon, if you, if you think about it, has injected itself into a lot of civic affairs. But it's really unrealistic to say that Amazon is responsible for every social problem in Seattle. But did you feel last year when, when the head tax was really discussed uh, that, that the ground was changing in Seattle, the political ground was changing? You know, whenever you have four incumbents decide they're not running for re-election, you're going to have a change election. People are tired of grandstanding. People who live in districts are looking at their neighborhoods and they're not seeing progress take place. And then some of our big issues aren't really being solved. You got an interesting perspective in all of this in terms right. of how a mayor and a council work with the city. I don't think a lot of people realize that you've done this for a long time in Tacoma. Two years as a city council member, then eight years as mayor. And one of the things I've learned is that if you want to truly advance a city and a region, you have to work in partnership. I would say that one of the challenges that you have right now at Seattle City Hall is just a complete lack of trust. I think there's a lack of trust on the second floor between council members. There's a lack of trust between the mayor's office and the city council. And so if our elected officials don't have a climate of trust, how can the public trust that they're going to make good decisions? I think what happens is I think this was a big wake up call for everybody. And you know, regardless of what the outcome of the election is, it doesn't matter what your political affiliation is. There's nothing wrong with wanting efficient, effective local government. And I tell people, you can be a good liberal Democrat and decide you want good local government. And so there's an attempt, I think, to try to polarize this and say it's good versus evil, David versus Goliath, or this versus that. And I tell folks, it's like, yes, we're pro-business, but more than anything, we are pro-Seattle. And that's what really matters. Well, thanks for having a drink. Well, I wish we had some whiskey, but... Mm-hmm. Because it would be really good in this. Mm. So if you would like to see all of Chris's reports, all you have to do is text the keyword Seattle to 206-448-4545, and we will send you a direct link.